Hey guys. Hey guys, today, uh, ooh, there's a st stain there. Today we're doing a pod episode. I'm just going to put some music on. Well, I'm so sorry. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. we're not gonna put music so we're doing a pod episode today because there's just a stain there because it's really pretty out and I've got homework to do so I'm finding myself in this situation where I've got homework and it's so nice it's so nice it's so nice outside <sighs> I'm trying to relax my mouth it's not working I hope you enjoyed this display of weird facial expressions. But that's where we're at, you know. We're here. We're living. March. It's March 18. I haven't filmed the video in like a long time. Which I don't know. Um, I th I will be honest with you. I was feeling pretty bit. I was feeling pretty depressed. Like, I think it's like seasonal depression. Um, I think that the winter really forces you to, like, think about things. Like, when it's the winter, winter you're, like, l reflexive about stuff. And, I don't know, it's annoying. I hope you can't hear that, but, um, um, we're going back to school in, I just crumble. With mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. only love can hurt like this. And I can't even focus with um music on. This is really like going bad already. Um okay. What if I touch on a few things? how I'm doing, what's new in my life, and yeah. So, how I'm doing right now, pretty rocky, I would say. Some days I'm feeling like over the top. Actually, no. I haven't been feeling like over the moon or anything, just regular old, like, just really just questioning my life and why it is the way that it is. Just the why of it all and why I have to keep carrying on and like I just sit there in my life and all the things around me I'm like I don't like want to keep going I don't want this to keep going anymore you know like I just wish I could change like a lot of stuff about it like sometimes I feel like that which is fine I think but yeah when it's like the gloomy days and all that stuff it's really bad but other days, like most of the days, I try my best. Um, if I'm doing bad, I'll probably like binge eat a lot, which I've been doing. But I haven't in a, in a while, I guess. Um, I've been working out, uh, you know, to try to get, you know. Um, because it makes you feel really good. Like, that's what I've noticed after. You know, it just makes you feel great, like, in your health and your body and you know getting the sweat on is really good 
that's that. Um, so, basically struggling with food as, like, before. Um, struggling with, like, dysfunctional home life, stuff like that. Um, I've been watching- oh yeah, I'm on spring break, which my spring break ends, like, tomorrow, which is really sad. I think it's really sad. Um, yeah, um, 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 I've been watching Emergency Intercom, I've been watching Suburb Talks, cause I love these guys, I love, I love all of them. They inspired me to start this pod, this, oh my, I have had, have I been talking into it? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, uh, college ends like the 10th of May, which I think is crazy, cause it's already March 20th, which I think is also crazy. Like, bref- Breakfast Club Day is in five days. And, yeah. So, since I last talked about, like, Mystic, since Mystic Pizza, I talked about confidence. Which, I don't know if I've, if I've been practicing that during my spring break. Which, I guess, yeah. I'm also really quick to, like, dismiss any progress that I make. Which is shit. So, that's why every night before I go to bed, I write on a little piece of paper, like good things that happened today or good things about the day or my life like right now I write it down so you go to bed you have to think about you know you're forced to think about like the good stuff that you still have instead of turning to the bad side like oh today was a shit day but you know got out of bed did this did that like it's really better than yeah so physical exercise is one thing that I strongly recommend if you feel like shit like I guarantee It's going to make you feel better. Um, I first started doing it, like, last summer. Well, this summer. Almost been a year since I've been working out, which is really cool. I mean, on and off, you know. But, yeah. Uh, I think that's something that I can give myself, you know, a little little credit for. Other than that, um, what's new? Well, college. It's college. It's, like, a fun semester. I've been, um... Yeah, spring is a Monday. Uh, I've been watching a few movies, which I'll get into, like, media at the end of the episode. Um, what else can I talk about? I can talk about my fear of commitment. Did I talk about that? Yeah, because uh, I was talking about it last time. But... I have to stop doing that. That's really annoying. It sounds like a kiss. Um, you know, I can talk about the lack thereof of boys in my life or girls you know because you know but that's the thing like i think i romanticize it all too much i romanticize how my life was going to be like in high school in college and like all the days of like my teenage years i was like it's gonna be like this movie and i'm this character and you know it turned to like absolute shit especially when i first arrived to carl especially when i first arrived to college Anyhow, I don't think this episode is going to be very long because I have homework to do, which I don't want to do, but yeah, I don't even have anything to talk about. I just wanted to update you guys on how I've been doing. Um, If I can recap, I've been doing, I've been feeling a little, a little depressed some of the days, but what I try to do is like, like still face my feelings, you know, like write them down, journal um physical exercise when you feel like shit or like maybe indulge in like some escape and watch some movies also going outside really helps like just being somewhere that's not like your constant environment is going to help you see things like in a different way you know you're out there you're not experiencing like your your day-to-day like mundane you're just experiencing something else and you might meet new people and like see a cute stranger or an old person will be sweet to you, or like, like anything can happen to you in when you're out there, when you're not like trapped by like what your life is already, like when you're not trapped by like what you're born into, you know, just going out there like exploring things like that can make you feel really good and it can restore a lot of hope for you in your life. Because that's what it is, like, I thought life was going to be something, I thought it was going to be like, there's one answer and it's gonna be like this forever but when i realized that it was absolute shit like i was so fucking disappointed like i'm gonna tell you the truth like 
I didn't expect my life to be like this. And I look at my life and I'm like in disbelief that it, it is my life. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I try every day to like remind myself that life is magic and that like the life that I dream of is like it's possible. It's out there, you know, to feel things and not just feel trapped every single day. Just like in your room, like your parents, like you want to take them to the shitter and it's just like so annoying like oh your parents are annoying your siblings your siblings are annoying like everyone is annoying and your life is annoying it's repetitive like okay yes i realize that most people feel like that but it doesn't have to be that confining i realize that i'm like maybe overlooking certain people you know like who have limitations or like different um <sighs> circumstances but other than that if we can do something, if if we can, we have the ability to do things like escape into the world of movies or TV shows or write down something or make a collage, just like, like, the way that you feel is like this. The way that you feel is like this, but you have to try to make it like this, like this, you know, by going outside, just do stuff, just do things, I guarantee it'll be, you know, um, it'll make you feel better. That's what I think all the time because... Oh, my legs are so sore. Um, I'm really manspreading right now. But you go out there. You go out there. You see a cat. You see a cute stranger. You get like that one feeling when you're in the bus or the metro that like you're in the bus and the metro you're like you know everyone is like in this confined space but everyone is together and no one knows what they're doing everyone's going somewhere or not but that's my advice for you guys and for me too and my future self and I'm excited to drive get a driver's license which i'm gonna sign up this week okay i've been saying that since i was 16 i'm 18 this summer which is crazy i don't believe it um i'm excited to live which i don't think i have yet maybe in some ways but i don't know i haven't considered a lot of stuff that i've <sighs> like floated through living anyway I don't want to be someone who's confined I don't want to look at my life and feel like shit all the time I don't want to relapse into self-harm every time I feel like shit and I don't want to binge eat I don't you know all those all that shit no one wants it and life is really hard, guys, but one way or another, you know, we all get out from the sticky wicket, even if it takes like 100 million years and you feel like it's forever that you're going to be stuck here. I don't think so. I think like every once in a while, you get a reminder that life is not so bad. Like, you know, when you're with your friends, you feel that way. Sometimes you dis dissociate, yes, but, <laughs> like, you see a cute cat, and, you know, find ways to make yourself feel alive outside of your own environment, and think about you, because you're gonna spending, you're gonna be spending the rest of your life with you, so, try to make yourself feel good, and happy, and, like, Escape and be silly. Be silly once in a while. Be silly, goofy, you know. Goofy up. Uh, 
easy like goofy guys don't take yourself too seriously don't think like me that there's an answer to, to life and that adults have it figured out because they don't know shit they're just like a grown up like maybe they're taller than you whatever but no it doesn't work that way I'm telling you, life is pretty hard. Also, it's really easy. Nothing really matters. Um, I'm gonna end it right here. Okay, I keep thinking that I'm gonna get interrupted while I'm filming my episode. But, that's what I'm saying, man. All I wanna do is like ride in that van smoke a lot of weed look at beautiful things meet people play play the sitar play the guitar meditate eat hash brownies laugh you know yeah 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 doesn't take much to like be on the road happiness or I guess not happiness I don't know what that is but just try try out there that's all anyone is ever doing like you see people and you think that this is figured out but it's not so don't take yourself too seriously okay that's what I would say don't take yourself too seriously sorry for whispering I'm just filming this episode and everyone is home, so I'm like trying not to disturb or be disturbed. And for media, I'm gonna say music, um, Simon and Garfunkel, The Boxer, Simon and Garfunkel, um, Bridge Over Troubled Water. Lou Reed, Walk on the Wild Side, The Clash, Bank Robber, The Clash, Rudy Can Fail, uh, yeah, and for movies and TV shows, The Birdcage, Just Married is very silly. Big Fish by Tim Burton as a movie. TV shows New Girl, Entourage, Sopranos. I haven't been watching all of this, I've just been watching Entourage, The Mindy Project, and that 90 show. I saw one episode. But anyhow, that's my thing. That's my thing. I wanted to film today because I had in a while. And, you know, I'm doing this whole documenting my whole life thing. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna get cracking on some homework. And carry on. Carry on. You guys also carry on. Because you guys are all awesome. As I see you. And, uh, I will see you. I'll see you soon. That's me without glasses. Um, I'll see you soon. Oh, shit. Hey. How do you guys think I look like this? Do you think I look like a sexy librarian? Thank you. <laughs> anyway. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. and Yeah. Make your corner of the world a slightly better place.